Alright, I'll be right back with you. Alright. Arrowhead 87. Right now, it's after all. Last name is Perry. Papa, Echo, Romeo, Romeo, Yankee. First name, Daryl, Delta, Alpha, Alpha, Romeo, Romeo, Yankee. Lima, Delta, Whiskey. Delta, Delta. out here if you have a permit. It's free to get one. It takes about five minutes to get one. Uh, I don't see why I need a permit when I have a constitutional right to free speech. Which means we cannot tell you with a permit they can't be out here. But you need the permit. But that, that seems like they're making laws on how I can exercise my free speech. To regulate. But there's certain but restrictions it in It says the Congress speech. shall make no law on the practice of religion, the freedom of religion, the freedom of speech, or my right to petition the government for redress of grievance. So can I petition you for a redress and say that I don't need a permit? Because you said you're, you're an agent of the U.S. government, correct? Right. So I have a constitutional right to petition you for a redress. Right. So I'm asking you for a redress to, you know, no harm, no foul, and I'll you know, gladly walk two inches off of federal property. That's no problem. That's, that's why, if you do that, you avoid a citation and... I, I don't see why I should be cited for anything because I'm First Amendment because, rights, but... Because the whole thing with needing a permit. But if you do leave federal property, that's good with me, and if it's good with you, we'll be all set with that. All right, so basically you're saying that there's like a free speech zone as long as I've got papers. Correct. Can I have my ID back, please? Just be a moment, sir. One second, I gotta wait for my dispatch to get back to me. Okay. Good job. Yeah, so if you go ahead, get a permit, they'll ask you where do you want to stand, and they'll ask you when you want to come out here, and they'll say, all right, here's your permit. Uh, I just have don't nice see day. the whole point of having to get a permit for expressing a First Amendment right. Because you want to use the property. Because then it becomes a privilege. You want to use it. You want to use the property where you're standing, essentially. Now, if you're standing at your house, no one could say anything. But because you're standing on the property right now, you want to essentially use the property to tell the visitors that here, the visitors didn't come here to listen to your First Amendment. They came here to visit the yard. But the owners, which essentially you ask people, because it's federal property. So I'm one of the owners of this land. Which means that I have ownership rights. But so does everyone else. Okay, and if they came to my front yard, I could practice First Amendment, and this essentially is the same as my front yard since I'm a U.S. citizen and pay taxes, and this is federal property. And it's federal property, do you pay federal taxes, and so does everyone else. That's why we have certain rules, like having the amendments and having the right, and the amendment and says that Congress permits. shall not make a law prohibiting my free speech. And having, but by having to have a permit, my free speech no. is being prohibited. No, it's just being or regulated. inhibited. It's just being regulated. You can't have yeah. thousand people out here arguing, going back and forth because someone might have a different opinion than you. Well, those so two people why. over there could have a different opinion, and they are standing here the same as I am. And they're allowed to have it. But what I'm right, asking, but no, you're saying that I can't be here because somebody might have a different opinion. No. And I'm just saying two people over there could have a different opinion and start getting into a fight. I'm saying you need a permit, okay? Just to use the bullhorn or just to speak? To like if honest. I want to talk really loud, I need a permit? Yes. Do they need a permit? They're talking yes. to one another. They're not trying to talk to everyone. They want their conversation to be heard by everyone. Okay. If you go get the permit... So, what are the decibel levels? Okay. 
I, 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 I realize it sounds like I'm trying to be a dick, but I'm not. I'm but, just trying to figure out yeah. where the right of free speech becomes a privilege of having to have a permit. You are being one. And all I'm saying, go get a permit. Uh, I, I refuse to get a people. permit. So if I get my driver's license, I'll just leave. That if you give me my ID, I will leave. That's, that works. Okay. This also includes the square across the road and the courthouse. Square across the road and the courthouse. Yep. All right. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Okay, man. Thanks for your time. If you go on the bottom of the staircase, down there, it's fine. Good to go. go okay. The the street. Street. Underneath the, the tent there. Underneath the tent. You go underneath okay. the tent, you won't hear from me. Yeah. All right. But are you guys going to notify like St. Louis Metro or anything? Nope. Because I've seen that happen before. Nope. To where they say, oh no, you can go over there and then that other jurisdiction gets notified immediately. Uh, I've had that happen to several of my friends. No. Nope. All right, thank you. I, I will be.